Hello Libra, I'm going to be doing your you and them love reading. This is going to focus on you, your person, how you feel about each other, and what's the potential outcome. So we're going to get right into it. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching. Alright, Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra in love? Grab a couple cards for your energies and then we'll get into the tarot. For Libra, please. What do we need to know in regards to love? Tell me about Libra's energies and this connection spirit. What are Libra's energies? This connection. Victory. Wow. Okay. What about your person? What about Libra's person? Okay, strategy for your person. Very similar energies here. I feel like you're both focused on success. It could also be that you're getting a lot of attention right now, either from this person or this person is noticing you in some way. What's going on in this connection? I feel like your person is trying to like plan something out or like look at, um, how to approach you, how to deal with a, something going on here, because you're thinking of a strategy, a plan. What are the mutual energies? This one. Appreciation. Exactly. That's kind of like the energy I'm... Someone is seeing you. Someone has their eye on you. And they're appreciating what they see. <laughs> I don't know what is going on, but... Someone seriously, like, like you have their attention. So let's see. What other information can you give me, Spirit, on these energies? For Libra, please. Tell me about Libra's energies. Tell me about this victory energy. Two of Swords. Some sort of choice, decision... Maybe there's indecision. I feel like whatever choice this is, Libra, regarding this, con it's regarding this connection or this person. It's like you don't really know what to do. What about your person? Tell me about the strategy energy. What's this about? Page of Cups reverse. Well, there's heartbreak, disappointment. Something didn't work out for your person, so now they're thinking of a strategy is what I'm seeing there. What's this appreciation energy about? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Interesting because this is kind of like the Nine of Pentacles card upright. So I'm sorry about that noise. Um, my computer. Okay, so it looks like. interesting <laughs> so what i'm getting here is it's kind of like you're both on it is, it's like there's opposites here opposites attract that's what i just heard <laughs> so it's almost like one of you is stable doing well being appreciated admired seen and the other person i feel like they're not at that level interesting so let's get into the tarot here. What do we need to know for Libras in love spirit? For Libra regarding this connection. Now Libra, I have you on this side. I have your person on this other side, but it can be reversed. So feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more. But to avoid confusion, this is you for me over here. All right, tell me about Libra's energies. What are they thinking or feeling in this connection? Six of Cups reverse. Something to do with the past here. Tell me more about Libra. Seven of Swords reverse. What is happening? You caught something or something came out in the past. 
you caught someone either deceiving you or trying to get away with something here. The, the star, Aquarius energy, hope, healing. I feel like, you know what, Libra? It's almost like you've been really focusing on moving past whatever happened in the past. Almost like you've been healing. Yeah, four of swords at the bottom. You've been healing, reflecting, taking time out for yourself. And I feel like you're glowing. Like you're, you're, your hard work is paying off there. And I feel like you're being seen. I'm also getting with this two of swords. You might be a little guarded when it comes to love, when it comes to this other person. You might be in protective protection mode because of what how you've been treated in the past. Tell me about this other person. What are their thoughts or energies in this connection? I'm just gonna pick it up just like that. The moon were uh, well in limbo. Pisces energy. I was gonna say reverse, but it's we're just gonna pick it up like it fell. So I, 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 it's almost like, should I, shouldn't I reveal something? Okay, tell me more about this person. Strength, Leo energy, courage. I don't know if you've rejected this person in the past. Or if this person just hasn't been open about how they feel. Tell me more. Death card, Scorpio energy. All major arcanas for your person here. Ending, change, transformation. Hmm. We'll clarify that later on to see. Tell me about what's going on in this connection. What is going on in this connection between Libra and this other person? The sun reversed. What else? The devil reversed. What is it with all these major arcanas? Capricorn energy. Breaking free of something, something hidden. Hmm. This is such strange energy. Let's clarify before I get ahead of myself. Libra, if this is resonating for you in any way, I mean, I know I just started, but <laughs> consider leaving me a comment and letting me know if it's resonating for you or how, because I love hearing from all of you on how the readings resonate. If this is not resonating for you, do not try to make it fit. Not every reading will resonate with you. Um, Check out my other readings for Libra. I have a whole playlist if this doesn't resonate at all. Let me clarify these energies, Spirit. Let me clarify. I feel like I want to clarify these two together because I feel like they're connected. Tell me about this Six of Cups reverse and the Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, this was very heartbreaking for you. Queen of Cups reverse. You could have even been like, it could have been a prolonged hurt. Something that you took with you um, even after it happened. Um, what else can you tell me about the Six of Cups reverse and Seven of Swords reverse? Four of Wands. You could have lived together with this person, been married to this person. Maybe you had a home together. 
King of Wands reverse. I feel like someone um, was unfaithful or just did you dirty, Libra. For the Libras that I'm talking to you, that I'm talking to, I don't know what's going on with me in English recently, but just... <laughs> anyways, um, I feel like this is for those of you who've been hurt in the past by someone who uh, didn't treat you right. Something happened in the past. And I feel like you found out or you caught someone doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Could have been an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whoever it was or whatever it was. I feel like some of you thought it was your fault. Why am I getting that message? It's almost like some of you thought, I'm just saying it because I'm hearing it, feeling it. I feel like some of you thought this was your fault, that you made choices that got you into this mess. You did the wrong thing in some way. I don't think that's completely true, but I feel like a lot of you feel that way. Others of you, I feel like this is someone who really broke your heart. Why is the star here? I feel like some of you are shining. All eyes on you. Spotlight is on you here. Five of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this, this, whatever this was, you needed to really have a recovery here. You were struggling. Maybe you felt abandoned. Queen of swords. I feel like you cut something out of your life or out of your heart and maybe this hardened you a little bit. Maybe this closed you off a little bit to new love. Um, maybe you're still healing, going through a healing process. Yeah, five of cups. There were regrets, sadness here. And I feel like this is you, like back off. I don't want to even think about love right now. I feel like a lot of you have just focused on yourselves. And now you've ca you've captured someone's attention. Why is the sun reverse? Why is the sun reverse? Nine of Pentacles again. Keep getting this card. I feel like this is how someone's seeing you here. But I feel like they're observing you in secret or they're not like being open or clear about the fact that they feel this way. But they see you like that Nine of Pentacles. Maybe this person's not on your level and so they are scared to approach. Why is the sun reverse? Four of Cups, yeah. It's almost like maybe you're not really into your it's like you're not really looking for love or a new opportunity in love. I feel like your eye is elsewhere, your goals. It's like you're wrapped up in goals or something like that. Like looking towards the future. Maybe this person thinks if they were to make you an opportunity or make you an opportunity, make you an offer, <laughs> you would probably uh, reject them. You're not interested. Why is the devil reverse? Six of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who has broken free of either a certain mentality, a toxic environment, an unhealthy attachment. Tell me about the devil reverse. Six of cups reversed again. Seven of swords. So this is what I'm seeing. It's almost like you're scared or having trust issues because you feel like this might repeat itself. Or this could be somebody that you already dealt with and you don't trust them. I feel like for a lot of you, for the Libras that I'm talking to today, you do not want to be in the same mess you were before. Tell me about the devil reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're thinking about, I don't know, it's almost like 
you've set some sort of standard. I don't know why I'm getting these messages. Today's message is very clear to me. It's a very direct message. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to a lot of people here. I feel like I'm talking to a very specific group of Libras. The message is the message. I'm not really seeing anything else. I feel like, and this could also be the person that's, because this is mutual energy, so both of you could be here. This could also be someone that's viewing you. I feel like whoever is looking at you is seeing you be successful. Again, all eyes on you. Victory. This is how they're seeing you. This victory card. Or this is your focus. Your focus on success. And I feel like it's paying off because someone's noticing. Um, and then here I have two of pentacles. Um, which is like juggling, responsibilities, a lot going on. I feel like you're very busy doing whatever it is that you're doing. I'm also getting like you're collecting coins. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm thinking, but it's almost like you are finding a really good balance in your life right now. And this is out, this is because you got out of something that wasn't good for you. Um, I'm also getting the sense that someone already knows this about you. It's almost like whatever I, what I just told you, Libra, someone already knows that too. And it's almost like they're wondering if they can match you or if they can get your, get your attention and keep it. Okay. So let's see, why is the moon reverse or in limbo here? Why is the moon in limbo? Five of Wands, competition, jealousy, drama. Why is the moon in limbo? What can you tell me about this moon? Wow, Ace of Coin. So this person, their goal is to make you some sort of offer. And this is an offer they've been thinking about. I have the Hermit card at the bottom. So remember what I said about strategy. This is someone that's really thinking, but not speaking. I feel like this person has not really come forward. And I don't know if it's because in their mind there's competition or perhaps, I don't know. Maybe they would have to fight someone to get to you or to make you this offer. Maybe they, for some reason, they think there's going to be some sort of conflict or opposition. Tell me about strength. What's strength doing here? Wow, the magician. So this is someone that's really, I mean, they're working on something. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Two of cups. Like, you gotta be kidding me. This person is manifesting you. Can I get one more for the strength card? All eyes on you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and it's like, I'm just waiting for my chance. Three of wands. I'm waiting for my chance, but I'm wondering if this is gonna pan out for me. Are they going to accept? Is it going to, is my investment or effort going to pay off for me? So what's this death card about? Oops. What's death card? Just please excuse my dog being all dramatic in the background. Why is death here? Nine of wands, why is death here? The lovers. Hermit again at the bottom. Virgo energy, Gemini energy with the lovers. This person has also been through it with the nine of wands, or perhaps this is how they're seeing you. Very guarded, protective, your walls are up. But whoever this is, um, whether this is them thinking about you or this is them, they're not, they haven't given up on love. 
on the idea of love, on finding their person. I don't know, I feel like this could be somebody completely new to you or someone that you've already been, there's been some sort of ending here with this person or perhaps they're a Scorpio or have Scorpio in their chart, but it's almost like, or it could be that this person has undergone some sort of transformation since they've met you, some sort of change, because now they're thinking of love. This is someone that's thinking about love thinking about a partnership and it's also like they're wondering like is this even a good idea there's behind that the nine of sorts fear anxiety stress you get one more for the death card the four reverse the star wow it's almost like this is risky but i'm gonna go for it You know, this is probably going to blow up in my face, but I'm going to go for it. I'm also getting, it's almost like, it's like they're so blinded by you, by what you represent, by, why they, by, what, by what they see. This is what they're seeing when they're looking at you. Someone like, wow, a wish come alive. <laughs> But I feel like it's like they see you and it's it's almost like they forget everything they normally would do. Like maybe this person is normally someone that's really like strategic, that really takes their time. You know, this is a very big offer, a magician, like this is someone that makes things happen. But it's like when it comes to you, like it's like maybe I shouldn't be waiting. Maybe I shouldn't be, you know, being all calm and collected with the strength card. You know, maybe I should be bold and forward and take the risk. Hmm, so what's going to pan or what's going to happen for this connection, sir? What's the potential outcome? And what is the potential outcome here for Libra and this other person? This one. Four of coin reverse. What is the potential outcome for Libra and this other person in the near future? Someone's letting something go, opening themselves up. Three of Swords, Pain, Difficulty, Conflict, maybe some verbal arguments, and the Two of Cups. Wow. What? What is like, you know, it's almost like, um, how do you say it? Like, like opposite energy. Again, with this opposites, you know. I feel like this is about opening yourself up, letting go of possibly pain or a heartache in order to have a two of cups. What's at the bottom of the deck? Queen of swords again. Open, honest communication. But the queen of swords, very hard to read. They tend to have a tough exterior. Um, they're very direct and they have very strong boundaries. I feel like Libra, you have a lot of boundaries given what has happened in the past. And I feel like maybe you need to open yourself up to an opportunity here, but I feel like all you're thinking about is pain. Yeah, six of cups reverse right behind that. It's like, even though you've been able to move on from the past, it's still there. Um, check out my other videos for Libra. There's a whole playlist for Libra. So check that out if you'd like, if this didn't resonate at all. Um, thank you again to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the like. Um, it really helps us grow as a channel and it's free. It's a free way you can support the channel. So Thank you so much, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.